Yep. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this idea. Today, we're going to start our very first brand new farm. And, uh, yeah. A regular farm? That's boring. I've got bigger and better ideas. I've given myself a little bit of additional funding to start with, so we can really make my dream come to life. The first thing we need to do is buy some stuff. First of all, we need a suitable piece of land. Something preferably not too far from the shop, because I don't want to have to drive too much, but also big enough to have some fun with. I'm thinking this awkward shaped lot, this should be a lot of fun to have to deal with. $403,000 I think is going to be worth it, it even comes with a pond. According to my mini map, that should be the lot right there that I basically ran across to get here, which is right beside whatever this is. As I was browsing through all the entertaining toys earlier, wondering just what I could do, I ran into this, the landscaping button. You'll never believe what we could do with this. We can make a farm up in the sky so we can be closer to the sun. I'm going to be honest with you right now though, I have not worked out the logistics of this. So as soon as I figure out a good way to actually raise the elevation everywhere, we'll be rolling. Suddenly it went from super hard to super easy. I think this nice little point over here would be a great spot for a farmhouse. But then again, I'm not entirely sure it's going to even let me build anything up this high, considering I think we're at about the limit. And just for good measure, we're going to leave a danger hole at the top of this. But this is what it looks like, my entire area elevated to the maximum possible height. No idea how I'm going to get anything up here, I guess I'm going to have to build some kind of a road. But I really like the potential of this, I've always wanted a house with a view. I didn't even know there was actually a castle here. But mine's going to be taller. I've just realized how much money that actually just costed me. I started with 999 million, I'm down to 937 million, so we spent over 50 million just doing that, but definitely worth it. I bought one of these because it looked fun, so we're gonna see if we can get up there somehow. You know, you'd think if I was to spend the money to buy one of these, they'd be kind enough to deliver it. Now, which field was mine again? I can't remember. I have no idea how I'm gonna get up there. A little ways up there, and I don't think my tractor's got the power to climb that. I spent over $400,000 on my tractor, and it can't even get onto my property. I guess we're just going to have to go back to the drawing board on this one. I'm going to have to try and edit myself a ramp to get up there. What happens if we ram things? Ooh, physics. Perfect. Good thing I got lots of money. I think my strategy for this is going to be to try and build a ramp straight up one of these straight edges. That's going to be the simplest and easiest way to do it. But that's probably still going to make a pretty steep ramp considering how tall this is and how short of a distance we have to use. So I might have to ramp it around a corner and I can't even imagine how fun that's going to be. This already feels like a disaster, so we're just going to keep going with it and kind of hope for the best. It's not very easy to make like a single notch up or down. I could soften the ramp or the editor thing, but where's the fun in that? Right, so my ramp didn't really work out well enough. It's not a bad ramp. I mean, it's probably like a 9 out of 10, but I didn't quite touch the ground with it yet. I think we got about a tenth of the way down, so I'm going to have to rethink how this is going to work. I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of this ramp thing. So we start there, we work our way up. Still not sure how well that's going to work, but uh, this is what we got so far. And look at that, we're almost at the top now. We've just got to make a 90 degree corner and then make our way up the rest of the death ramp. I think we could make it up that with maybe the right tractor. I expect nothing but good things from this point forward. You know what? Now that we're out of the landscaping tab, I really realized just how big some of these ramps and stuff are. I expected this to be an easy little transition at the beginning. This might be the hardest part. We're off to a good start. We can't even get onto our ramp. Maybe with just a little bit of... Yep, uh, I think we might actually have it here. I would be really surprised if this actually worked on the first try. Wow, I'm impressed. I guess I did pick the right tractor for the job. But given how uneven this ramp is, I might not make it. Then there were some sections like this that I couldn't quite perfect, but good enough. I think we're still trucking along here. Coming down to just a crawl. Not sure if we're going to be able to tow a trailer up this, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. At least I know the whole ramp thing is feasible. This one looks a little steep. Not sure if the tractor's going to do it. It still might actually. It's still going and that's about the steepest spot. I'm just holding forward and hoping for the best. It made it. I would be so mad if this is actually as far as we got right now. I could probably wiggle out of this though and make it around. Yeah, there we go. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the view and how high up we are. Nothing but clear blue skies above us now. I have no idea if we're even able to do anything with this area, but we got it. We made it to the top. Now that we got all this out of the way, I should probably learn how to actually farm and start actually doing something with the area. But I won't lie to you, I am having a lot of fun just admiring the view everywhere and thinking about what I've accomplished. But now, the $70 million question. Can we do anything up there? Maybe if I just click a whole bunch, it'll let me do it eventually. Oh, I got one. Perfect. It's going there. They say it's more about the property than the house anyway, and this one's got a view, so I think it's going to be a hot commodity. 
I also want to get a regular tractor up there, maybe with a trailer behind it, because I feel like we're going to need a normal tractor and some stuff to actually farm there. So we need to find one that I think is going to make it up. And I'm going to buy the most expensive one possible, like I always do, because I assume it's the best. Well, all right. I mean, more wheels mean more traction, right? So yeah, that's completely necessary for my Sky Farm. So as long as we can attach that to that, that is going to be a process to get up my ramp. But uh, you know what? I feel like my new tractor is up to the task. If you'll excuse me, car, I'm a little bit bigger than you and I'm in a hurry. I don't have time for your games. Well, now no one's going anywhere. I hope you're happy with yourself for single-handedly ruining this video. Doesn't everyone know I'm a farmer and farmers are allowed to do literally anything they want? Not the easiest maneuvering with a trailer this big, but uh, mostly the ramp is a straight shot. So once we get on there, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Oh, this thing works good on the ramp so far. Hit it with a little bit of momentum and it's unstoppable. Needs to get more of those wheels back on the ground. I think I see the problem though. I'm pulling a 40 foot trailer. We're officially on the ramp with every piece of us. So now hopefully we can just climb all the way up without any further issue. Not a lot of wiggle room at this point for error. It's a very narrow path and I've kind of got to wiggle this back and forth to make it come up the ramp. Because it's so damn long it just gets hung up on everything. Right, this next hill is going to be about the worst of them. If I can make it up this, everything after that is easy, but so far it's been a struggle, and this one is quite a bit more steep, so yeah. Now, I am going to smooth that ramp out just a little bit. I know where the bad spot's at now, and you know this had to happen at some point during the video. I'm going to see if I can land in the lake down below. That should cushion a blow enough so that it doesn't hurt the tractor too bad, because I really like this one. I paid a lot of money for it, and it gets the job done. Here we go. Ooh. Uh, diving off a little bit harder than I thought it might. No, it's gonna land on its wheels though. Just like a cat. Not drive too deeply into the water. That's your main concern out of everything that has happened. It always looks so intimidating when you're at the bottom, but it's really not that bad once you just get onto it. I think this part is not gonna go very well. I have no idea what happened here or why I didn't notice it, but it's gonna be pretty hard to maneuver around this 45 degree bend. No, we look okay actually. I think if we actually manage to get past this, we'll be clear sailing, but that's a pretty big if at this point. Professional driver. Don't even worry about it. I've done this before. There we go. See that? This car is built for climbing hills, obviously. Thanks to my ramp troubles, I'm going to go ahead and buy lot 21, which is right beside it. I think I can combine the two and make a bigger, better ramp using this, which I should have done from the beginning. Finally, after hours of struggling, I decided to just make a proper ramp. Currently, this is what it looks like. A nice even slope for once. It should be perfectly consistent all the way down. I did move it back and forth a little bit, but the slope itself should be very consistent. I just got to smooth it out a little bit, which is the only part that could screw up now, and I should have a very, very easy access to the top. The smoothening went almost too perfectly. There was only one spot where it kind of screwed up, which was right here. Now that we have a beautiful super highway to the top of my sky farm, it's time to go and find out whatever happened to my tractor with the plow. Oh, I guess it landed sunny side up down here. That's convenient. I think the worst part now is just going to be fitting everything between the trees, and that shouldn't be the end of the world unless you're stupid like me. Yeah, this seems a little bit easier, doesn't it? With the ramp like this, I can just hit cruise control and it'll drive itself all the way up. I don't have to maneuver, I don't have to think, I don't have to wiggle, just straight up. This is it. Officially, our first attachment all the way to the top of the farm and we can actually start farming after six hours of effort. So we're just going to work around the perimeter of this, give ourselves some guidelines to work with, and then we're going to hire some worker to finish this all for us because this is really boring and really dangerous. If anyone's going to fall off the edge, it's going to be the hired help. Speaking of which, how does this thing handle the areas over the edge? Not that good. Okay, noted. Well, that's a problem for the hired help. I am going to stick a little bit further from the edge from here on out. That way they don't do that and lose a bunch of my tractors over the edge. I couldn't care less about their lives, but I don't want to have to replace tractors every day. So far, this is working out pretty nicely. With all the extra up close sun the crops are going to get, they're going to be 10 times healthier than everyone else's. Right, well, since it's getting dark and I'm going to have trouble seeing soon, I'm going to see if I can sleep for the night and we'll come back out and hit it in the morning to hopefully get something accomplished finally. Just what I wanted, a rainy day to turn my fields into mud. Hilariously, for some reason, I cannot hire any workers to do the work for me, so I'm going to have to do this one all manually. I think I may have to detach my plow. It seems to be fighting me for dominance right now because it wants to go in the murder hole. I'm trying not to let it do that right now because I really don't want to go get another one. I guess I could lift it up. Oh, there we go. Never mind. There we have it. My little field is plowed to about my liking. There's a few spots I'm going to run around and grab with the smaller tractor, but then I'm going to start planting something. Don't know what yet. It's actually really nice and quiet when you're inside the tractor. 
Also, I think it's about time I got myself some kind of shed to store all my machines and equipment in, so I'm just gonna try and snap this basically wherever I can, because the game doesn't love being up here all that much. Fine, it's a little unconventional, but we're gonna put our storage in the middle of the field, because that's the only place I can put it. Our next step is to buy some of the finest potato technology available to man. We're gonna buy this one because apparently it's better. This is how we plant potatoes, and you can't have a farm without potatoes. And since I was too lazy to drive any of my tractors down from the up above, I just bought new ones. Hey look, you can see my plow from here. Before driving all the way up there, I'm gonna make sure this thing is maximum full. That thing's gonna be overflowing. Looks like we got us a worker. That's great, he can do it all for us. Which is good because I have no idea what I'm doing. That looks kind of nice. I had no idea potatoes looked like that. Cool. Well, I'm going to get another one of whatever that is and do the same thing. That way I can have two workers working. I just realized I probably should have spent at least five minutes to sit and watch my worker once I turned him loose on my field because there's a lot of steep edges around everywhere. So is he up here somewhere? I think I see him over there. He seems to be moving still, so we're okay. He did not die. And we now have whoever that is doing whatever that is with whatever this is. Now that we have two of them going up here, I'm going to take some time to reorganize all my other stuff under that shelter. Now for the risky operation of trying to rescue this plow. If things aren't going my way, I'm just going to push it over and say goodbye because the field's already plowed. What would I need a plow for? Just have to get a little bit of a run at it. I'm going to hit it in the center so it actually pops out and doesn't go further in. Or, you know, that. I could almost drag it out like that. Well, maybe not now. I mean, I could try. Don't worry, Plow, I'm not giving up on you yet. Now, we just real carefully... Kind of... Yep. Got it. Organization at its finest. I'm a little concerned how they both stopped. They clearly didn't run out of seeds. They just kind of ran into each other because this guy's not here anymore. Where did this guy go? He's not done yet, or is he? Maybe he just hit a point where he thought he was done. All right, well, we're going to drive this way and hire a new worker, apparently, then, because they're dumb. Well, since we're not allowed to sleep, we might as well go get the next step of this operation and have it ready for when those guys are done. Whatever this is appears to be the last piece of this puzzle. This is what harvests the potatoes. This is quite a contraption. Hopefully it's as fast as it looks. Definitely not the quickest of vehicles for climbing hills. On the bright side, by the time I actually get this thing up to my field, the crop's going to be ready to go. Or maybe not. Hey look, the potatoes are actually growing. I turned up the time scale thing, so we should have potatoes sooner than later. I'm just going to park this here for now. That when we're ready to harvest, we can just harvest without driving over anything. Well, we literally have that same problem again. This guy decided he didn't want to work anymore, and this guy crashed into him and then stopped. It's also apparently getting very late, so I'm going to walk over to my house, hopefully without falling in the murder hole that's somewhere out here, and we're going to sleep till morning, and then hopefully the potatoes are done. Oh right. I forgot about weeds and stuff. We're going to have to do something about them. They didn't even plant potatoes over here. Idiots. What am I even paying them for? Just got to go nice and careful so as not to destroy the potatoes. I think this adorable little tractor with tiny wheels is going to be a little bit better suited for moving around the field, not killing all the potatoes. It's also very fast, which I really like. Wait a sec. You see what I see? We're going to go check this out. Look at this idiot. He's falling in the murder hole. The other one probably already went in there. Great, I'm collecting helpers now. I wonder how many I can fit in the hole before the game crashes. Yeah, you know what? I think you're doing farming wrong. Well, this is embarrassing. Caught him in the act. Well, the murder hole worked as intended, and I'm amazed that guy's able to hang on there for as long as he is. Unfortunately, there's only one way to deal with subpar employees. That's to finish them off. Thing is, he's already halfway in the hole. I can't help but... Okay, I guess we're all going in the hole now, too. Yeah, well, that's your fault. I take zero responsibility for this mess. I made the long and painful choice to bring another harvester thing up here, so now we're both just sitting here waiting for the potatoes to grow. They seem to have changed color. These other ones still haven't caught up yet, but I think these are ready to go, so let's uh, put some guys in the things and see what happens. Yep, I think we're good to go, seeing as this guy's getting busy doing something, not entirely sure what, we'll get this other one going, and then we'll kind of step back and watch for a little while. It looks like they're being harvested nicely. I imagine they're destroying the potatoes on board somewhere. In case you've been wondering how we're going to get these potatoes down from the mountaintop, I've set up an ingenious series of conveyors. The perfect strategy. Potatoes come from there. Go into there. All I need to do now is pull right up to them. The potatoes unload themselves. They go into the big conveyor, which feeds the little conveyor. 
which then drops them cleanly over the edge into the pickup trucks waiting somewhere down below. This is efficiency at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's working great. You can barely even see the trucks down there amongst all the potatoes. Right, well, since that's all the potatoes we have, let's go see how many made it to our trucks. It looks like a solid zero actually made it down. They must have got lost somewhere in the upper atmosphere. Well, it was a good idea. 